My wife has a cozy little spot outside that she likes to sit, and I think I can enhance the area. So I headed down to local Dollar Tree, and the whole goal of this project is everything has to come off the shelves. So I grab some rope, some clear bottles, and some cool little lights that are actually have a little light bulb, but they're fairy lights. First thing I want to do is take the hook off the top of the light. We need that for later, so we're just going to set that aside. Next, we're going to take the bulb off. This is something we don't need, but be careful taking it out. We don't want to damage the light. Next, we need to take the actual light mechanism and pop it out. It's real easy to do. Just give it a push and out it comes. Again, be careful with the fairy lights. What we need to do is paint this cover. And I'm going to paint it the same color as the chairs that are outside. Remember, it's always good to give it a little bit of a light coat first. If you need to add a second, go ahead. Now on the bottle, we have a cork here. We can go ahead and just remove that. The clips come out. We don't need that anymore. So let's toss that away. Next, I grabbed off of Amazon a bottle cutter. It's only $20. It's got a little score mechanism on there. So what we're going to do is you put the bottle on the rollers and you go ahead and start turning it. It's going to score the bottle, which is give it a little line. Now, what you want to do is hear this noise. That means you're cutting right through the bottle, but it won't cut all the way through. So what it's going to do, it's going to show you a little cut line on there. But next, what we have to do is get some water boiling. And then right next to the water, we're going to stick some in cold water and we need it super cold. This is how we separate the bottom of the bottle. Now, stick the bottle in the boiling water for a good 30 seconds. Once you got it in there and it's heated up, immediately go ahead and put it in the icy cold water. What happens next is amazing. It's going to separate along the score line and look at that. Perfect. Takes off the bottom and you've got a nice, flat, smooth line. The next thing we've got to do is go ahead and put the lights back through our painted cover and clip it back on. Add a little glue if you need to, it should go right on. Now grab a mason jar and that's going to hold our bottle upside down. What we got to do is take some E6000 glue and place it around the edge. Now I'm not going to put it all the way, just in four areas because what I want to do is take some hot glue and put it in the areas I didn't put the E6000 on. That's going to hold the cover in place while the glue is drying. So once we got the hot glue on there, Kind of hurriedly, we're going to stick the lights inside the bottle, set the cover on top, hold it nice and steady while the hot glue dries. Then the other glue will dry at the same time. Then we're going to take that rope, and the cool thing about this rope is it's got a little bit of a metal in that holds its shape. So stick some hot glue on the neck of the bottle, let that hold, and then we're going to start wrapping it all the way around the neck. This is going to give it a nice cool design. Go up the neck as far as you want. Once you get to the end, go ahead and stick some more hot glue on there. This will hold it in place and then you can go ahead and trim the excess off once it holds in place. And then take this extra twine that you have left over and we're going to put it through the hook on the light. Go ahead and just put it through, have a little bit of extra laying over. And kind of like we did with the neck of the bottle, we're going to just twist it right around. Give it a kind of nice, cool little look. Now it's time to go back outside. I went ahead and added a second chair, grabbed a stump for a side table, grabbed some of her favorite homemade lemonade, and started hanging the lights. I made three of these, and we put them up. And what I did was light number one, light number two, and light number three. And it made a perfect summer afternoon. Go ahead and pour you guys some lemonade. It was a great and wonderful night, and a high five from the puppy proved that I did a good job. I scored some points on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I sure did, and we can't wait to see you again on Home Talk. So I went ahead and cleaned the jar, and then we're gonna talk about this piece for a second. So this is a solar light that goes on to a mason jar, a recycled jar, has some fairy lights in it, and lights up. We'll be separating these out in the next step. Now, one thing you could do really easily is put the lights right into the mason jar. And for those of you who grew up where there are fireflies or lightning bugs, you've got yourself a really simple firefly jar that will light up at night. 
but we're gonna talk about another way to do something with these. When I think of summer, I think about going to the beach. So I'm just gonna take a little white sand and place it into the jar at the bottom, like this. And then once I get a fair amount here, I'm gonna add some more items. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these fairy lights part way in to the jar. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some sea glass pieces to the jar. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some shells to the jar as well. So it's all filled up with the shells and the sea glass. And this is actually a collection of stuff we've picked up at the beach and the lake. So a great way to use those items. And I'm just gonna put the rest of the fairy lights in place the lid on top and screw it into place. So for this next jar, I'm going to add what well, we call them helicopters growing up, but they were seedlings from trees that fall in. So I'm gonna put some of those in the bottom. Then next I'm gonna add a pine cone. I'm gonna stick some of my lights in there now. So I got some lights in there. I'm gonna put some acorns in there as well. So let's get some of those lights in there. And then I'm gonna keep creating the layers of the helicopters, the seedlings. And then I'm gonna place the rest of the lights around that top pine cone and place the lid on. And then again, you can see here, it's got that nice collection. It's gonna light up at night. And this is my fall jar. So. Again, just changing out what's inside and adding those lights and you've got a fall decor. So we've got summer and fall. So next let's work on winter. So for this project, I'm going to pour in a little pledge floor care cleaner. Next, I'm gonna spin the jar around so that it coats the whole jar inside. And then as I get to the top, I'm going to make sure it pours back into the container. Next, I'm gonna take some white glitter. I'm gonna pour it into the jar and you can use quite a bit because you're gonna be putting it back in the jar. Actually, I'm gonna set that like that. And we're just gonna spin the jar around so that it coats the whole jar. Isn't that fun? And when we get towards the top, I'm gonna to bring my glitter back. And just like before, we're gonna dump the glitter back into the jar. Now that it's completely dry, you could leave it like this and it would be like a snowball. Just add the fairy lights inside or use a permanent marker or acrylic paint that's safe for glass and draw on eyes and a mouth and then use your orange marker to draw on a carrot nose now, if you're using marker, you're gonna wanna go back over it after this dries and then add some dishwasher safe Mod Podge if you're gonna be placing it outside. Now I take my fairy lights and I place them inside and place the lid on top and then it will light up outside as well. And now we're on our last season. So I've got my last jar I'm going to place the fairy lights into the jar. Now, if you wanted to, you could make bunnies and chicks out of this, kind of like I did with the snowman, or I'm a big fan of lilacs. So I grabbed some faux lilacs. You could also use real ones if they are in bloom and any real flowers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff them around the lights in the jar or the lid on top. And then of course they'll light up as well. So let's take a look at all of our seasons in a jar. Here's a quick look at them before we take them outside and see what they look like when they glow. So as you can see, there are endless possibilities with this concept. You could put leaves in the fall, you could change it up and put flags in for summer. 
You could use real leaves or faux eggs for spring. You can also change up your winter one as well. So I'm gonna be placing these along my walkway to my front door. And again, you could make as many of these as you want for a season and then change them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them outside and let's check out what they look like all lit up. Now I bring them outside and place them near my walkway. I hope this inspires you to make some solar lights that are seasonal for your home. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and I'll see you next time.